Hey guys! Today I want to show you some knives from Bewiedemann Blades, which is a small knife shop run by Ben Bewiedemann. He's been making knives since early 2007, and all of his knives and accessories are made right here in the USA. Ben and his brother Andrew, they're really great guys. I met them both at the 2012 SHOT Show, where I got to handle several of their knives. I'm going to do a slideshow of some of Ben's knives at the end of this video, but honestly, pictures really don't do them justice. They feel really amazing in your hand. In this video, I've got three of his different knives to show you. This one is his Pwn. This one is the Sculled. And this one is the Scraling. He also makes several other knives, all of which are listed on BeWiedemannBlades.com with information, photos, and specs. And you'll see there that all of his knife designs have very unique names because they're based on the old Norse language and Valkyrie names from Norse mythology. And I personally think that's really cool just because my ancestry is mostly Norwegian. The first knife that I really want to show you guys today is my cord wrapped pwn, which I absolutely love. It is the smallest knife that Ben makes at this time and it fits my hand great. The pwn comes in two sizes. There is a standard pwn, which is this, and then there's also a pwn L, which I don't have to show you, and that one has a longer handle and blade. The pwn L is 8 inches overall and has a 3 and 5 8 inch blade length, whereas this standard pwn is 7 and an 8 inches overall and has a 3 and a quarter inch blade. The pwn and the pwn L are his only two knives that have the option of a skeletonized paracord wrapped version like this, which is what I chose. So this is Ben's Pwn CW, with CW standing for cord wrapped. The Pwn CW has a skeletonized blade and handle, which makes it lighter in weight, and it also gives it a very unique, visually appealing look that I really like. Between the wrap and the excess here, it has about 7 feet of paracord in it. He normally uses a different color for the inner and the outer wrap, but mine has all OD green paracord. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a picture here of a skeletonized pone before it's been wrapped so that you can see the channels on the handle that the paracord lays in so that it's held very securely and it won't move. The paracord wrap pone is $180 whereas the standard pone with G10 scales is $235. And his pricing varies a little depending on the knife, the steel type, and the handle material used. But really for the amount of time he puts into each knife, I think his prices are completely reasonable. The blade steel on this knife and most of his other knives is S35VN, but he also occasionally releases some in CTS XHP steel, which is a little more expensive. His knives all have a standard V-grind edge. And the Pone has a Tonto style blade and a blade depth of one and a half inches from top to bottom. The blade also has a stonewash finish on it, which gives it a very unique kind of tumbled look. And it's my favorite blade finish because it looks really nice. And also I think it would tend to hide any scratches that could occur with use. There is a really nice deep groove here. And there are notches on the thumb rest for traction. I've been using this knife for a while now just for everyday tasks and I absolutely love it. It is insanely sharp and it's probably the sharpest knife I've ever owned. The only thing I don't like about this knife is the extra paracord hanging off the end here. It looks cool but I think I'm going to cut it shorter just so there's no chance of it snagging on anything. Now I'm going to show you guys the Sculled and the Scraling. All of Ben's knives have a full tang construction, so the blade steel extends down through the entire grip, which makes them extremely solid and durable. Both of these two knives are $290, and they both also have the S35 VN blade steel, like my Pwn. Both of these also have the same blade length at 3 and 7 8 inches, but the scraling is narrower top to bottom and it's also longer from end to end, with a 9 and 1 8 inch overall length and a 1 and 1 8 inch 
blade depth from top to bottom. The Scald is eight and a half inches overall and has a one and five eighths inch blade depth. This Scald has a drop point blade with a really nice belly on it. And I know someone who uses the Scald for skinning and loves it. Both of these knives have some really attractive file work on them, which you can see here. The Scald has it on the blade spine. And the Scraling has it below the blade edge. Looks really cool. Like the Pone, they both also have notches on the thumb rest here for traction. And they have a really great stonewashed finish, which all of his blades have. For talking about the grips, scales are what you call these two pieces that attach to the steel to form the knife handle. Most of his knives come with G10 scales, which both of these knives have, but he's also used micarta and carbon fiber as well. This scraling has standard G10 scales. And the Scald has textured G10. And that feels really comfortable in your hand. My Pwn is also very comfortable because it's got chamfered edges all around the grip. As you can see here, the edges are nice and rounded, making it very comfortable to hold. Also, I really like that the Pwn is very slim with the paracord wrap on it because I've got small hands. And as you can see, of the three knives I've got to show you, the paracord wrapped Pwn is the slimmest. Now I'm just going to weigh all three of these knives really quick for you guys. The Scald weighs 7.3 ounces. The Scraling weighs 6.5 ounces and the cord wrapped pone is really light at 4 ounces. All of his knives come with a Kydex sheath and the color of each sheath matches the scales on the handle if they are black, tan, or green. Paracord wrap pones however come with black sheaths and he has done some Kydex sheaths with a spray net pattern, like this one on the Scald, but they are not released as frequently. They do have really great retention too, and the knives snap in really solid. Let's see if I can shake it hard for you guys here. I know you can't see that. There's no way that would come out of there. A nice, quick, secure way to carry these knives on a belt is to use a tech lock made by Blade Tech. They have a spacer in here to adjust for the size of your belt, and they've also got a seven hole pattern so that you can match it up with the holes on the sheath. This one is set up to be carried vertically, but you can also set it up to be carried horizontally by putting on the tech lock like this. These tech locks that I have are older. They were made in the USA, but their newer remodel versions are now made in China, just so you know. It's very easy to mount this knife to a belt using the tech lock. You just slide it down behind your belt and snap it on. And then to take it off, you just press on the two tabs on the bottom and slide it up behind your belt. And as I mentioned earlier, you can also turn the tech lock and carry the knife horizontally as well. For mounting these sheaths onto molly webbing, Bewiedemann has developed their own system called PUPS, which stands for PALS Universal Platform. So I will be reviewing this mounting system in my next video. If you're interested in purchasing any Bowiedemann knives, the first thing you should do is sign up for the Bowiedemann newsletter at either Bowiedemann.com or Bowiedemannblades.com. 
He doesn't email you any spam. He only sends out a newsletter whenever he's got something new available for purchase. I'll put links to all the Bewiedemann pages below this video in the description. And Ben is not currently making any custom knives, so you can only purchase the blades that he has available for sale at any given time. And there are three ways to find them. First, Bewiedemann.com lists any knives that are currently available for purchase. He does tend to sell out pretty quick, so subscribe to his newsletter and check back often. While you're there, you can also check out some of his brother Andrew's stuff for sale. Andrew creates some really cool artwork and pinup style designs on shirts, patches, and stuff like that. Then your second, second option would be to check with any of his dealers. I'll put a link below this video to several of his different dealers, including Monkey Edge, Blade Art, Fort Henry Custom Knives, and Blue Line Gear. The third option to purchase Ben's knives is to catch him at one of the knife shows that he attends. He'll be at the Blade Show in Atlanta, Georgia this year from June 8th through 10th, and he'll also be at the fourth annual Usual Suspects Gathering in Las Vegas this year on Labor Day weekend. He always attends both of those shows, so I'll put links to them below this video. The cool thing about meeting up with Ben at a knife show is that he makes fun custom stuff to sell at shows, so you'd have a chance to get something really unique, like one of his acid etched blades or knuckle dusters. If you can't attend one of the shows though, it is very possible that his dealers might get some of his blades from a show, so you could also check with them shortly after any of the knife shows end. Ben, your knives are awesome. Thanks so much for the pone. I love it and it is just perfect for me. And thanks everybody for watching today.